Okay. <clears throat> you ready? You ready? <laughs> but. You got the cozies? Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Show me the cozy out. And we're back. We're back. Here at the cozy show in the cozy corner in the cozy castle. Castle. <laughs> castle. <laughs> um, yeah. You're here with your host. Hi, Marnellis. And my beautiful co host. Oh. Chris Mariscal? Yeah, whatever. So, Chris <laughs> has an announcement to make. We're going straight to it, huh? <laughs> Wait, which announcement? That you're going to be a father. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, come on. Are we waiting for... Uh, okay, if you're my family listening, stop listening. <laughs> you know the the drill. Okay. Go ahead and skip. You know. Just when's the baby shower? 20, 20 or so minutes. Stop it. Do you have a name? Please stop. Okay, I'm scared to talk about this. Because I don't want to manifest it into becoming reality. Uh, right? Uh-huh. And also, I just feel disgusting talking about it because I don't want girls that I talk to in the future to be like, I'm going to talk about this on the pod or like worried that I'm going to talk about our experiences because I have a tendency to do that. But and I was thinking how crazy it is that girls don't ask me that. What? That like, are, are like, you going to talk, you gonna about, talk about this on the pod? Because obviously, I share everything on the podcast, you know? Yeah. Anyways, uh, but uh, we asked. Like, I mean, he asked. I did just ask if I could talk about this, and she said yes with a 100 emoji. So, so, you know, if you've talked to Chris, 80 percent chances he'll ask you, "Hey, can we talk about what I just did to you in the podcast?" There's nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> I just did to you. Yeah, Jesus. with you, maybe we yeah, could say. You. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, how yeah. about that? Okay. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> on the last podcast, right, we we're talking about how our fab cleanse was ending. Right, came uh-huh. to an end. We made it. You know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I said I wasn't sure if I should have, you know, broken my cleanse by touching myself or if I should wait because I had a feeling that I was going to hang out with this woman and, you know, things were going to get hot and heavy. Spoiler alert, I couldn't contain myself <laughs> and I jerked off that night I, after the podcast. I couldn't hold it. <laughs> I couldn't make it. I couldn't make it. <laughs> but... <coughs> It was marvelous, by the way. Yeah. Fucking no pornography. Uh-huh. All I did was close my eyes, just stroked it, and I literally came in like Who, a, a minute. Who would you imagine to? Nothing, believe it or not. Really? I literally was just like, I closed my eyes, and I was just going, and it just felt so sublime. Like you're just, like literally your thoughts were just focusing yes. on yourself? Like, That's oh, nice. this just feels so good. Uh-huh. And then it just came in, in like one minute. Great. It was insane. That's crazy. And it was a lot, huh? Yeah. And then I thought after that, I was like, I'm going to keep trying to do this and like no porn and just like close my eyes, do it and see how many times I can do it that way. You know? That's what I told myself too. Like, and now I'm just watching porn yeah. for like 30 minutes. <laughs> <each time. laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> so bad. Okay. Anyways. So then. so you, we'll you come, I want to circle back to that if we can. But sure. uh, yeah. So I hung out with this, with this lady, right? <clears throat> I never know what the fuck to say. You know, I don't want to say this girl because then it sounds like a a girl. Yeah, but which I you, feel like Chris is usually into. You just can't say female. That's no. the one you can't say. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We don't really say that, anyways. I don't. I don't think I ever say that unless it's like <clears throat> we're saying like male and female. Yeah. Like, like I don't know. Just like goes hand in hand. Yeah, I don't got know, it. Got it. Know? Anyways, I'm hanging out with this lady, right? A bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging out with this broad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we had planned to hang out, right? And, you know, we had been, things had been getting heated up in the old iMessages, uh-huh. you know. You know, ball pics were getting sent, yeah. you know, some little teasers. And she had told me, she was like, can you come inside me raw? Because yeah. I have a breeding fetish. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and when I told Jaime that, he was like, that is so hot. <laughs> I just so hot because I've seen that. <clears throat> term, I think I've seen I've it on seen, Reddit. Yeah, I've seen that term and I've seen that being like happen in Reddit. Yeah, and I don't know. There's just something so like Vikingish of it of just like, like just breed a person, like, you know. Oh, Obviously, okay. I only think that like sexually, like just breed and you know. Yeah, but it's like so you're into like, that. Not Would you crazy. Say you it's just like it's just a one-time thing, or not a one-time thing, but like um. I don't know. I don't because even when I've came in girls, I never think breeding. Yeah, it's like, not what I'm into. Like yeah. I'm not thinking that. But the way she just said it, I was like, oh. 
<laughs> Real quick, we want to give you a word from our one and only sponsor that we will be reading throughout the podcast. Whoa. <laughs> We're only reading this once. Sorry, let me restart that. No, no. Okay. Fuck ups happen. Mosaic Apparel. This will be the only pod for the rest of the... <laughs> <laughs> God, this will be the, the only, only sponsor for the rest of the pod. For the rest of the pod, the one and only. So if you're tired and you don't like ads, just like we do, because every time you click YouTube, it gives you two ads that you can't skip, <laughs> and they're each like two minutes long for some reason, and you want to shoot yourself because you're not next to your phone, so you can't even skip it. <laughs> this isn't the case. This is our one little only ad. Uh, shout out Mosaic Apparel. They're a small local business right here in the Central Valley, started by our good friend and um, basically father... Yeah, um, grandfather and uncle all combined into one. Uh-huh. Chago Richie. Shout I heard out. he got shingles. Huh. I heard they used his blood to cure shingles. Oh, that's what I heard. So that's what I got when I went to the doctor. Yes. Okay. Here's a picture. <laughs> Shout out. He started the clothing company, uh, Mosaic Apparel. They have tons of cl- uh, cozy articles of clothing, uh-huh. shirts, hats, windbreakers, sweaters, shorts. Now tank tops, whatever you could fucking ever want in the clothing brand. They got it. And they're always rolling out some new graphics. Go check them out at mosaicapparel.com. Mosaic Apparel on Instagram. If you use code COZY, all caps Z-O-Z-Y, Yep. you get 10% off your order. Um, Fully fact-checked. Guaranteed. Without a doubt. No questions asked. If it's your first time purchase and you sign up for that goddamn newsletter with that email, you get an additional 10% off. <laughs> it's 20% if you guys can't do math. I know some and of you guys you, didn't graduate high school. And free shipping if you're local in the 209 area. Jesus. Can you ask for more? Mosaic apparel, baby. $20 Smaller shirt. pieces coming together to create something great and more beautiful than if we were alone. Goddamn right. Go check them out. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the sponsor. Thank you. Peace. Back to the show. Okay, that's kind of hot, you know? Okay, yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, and then I I was, I was like, you know, she's on birth control. So, we got that right there. Important. Very important. Or else I wouldn't have done it. <coughs> Spoiler mm. alert. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> Save that. All right, we'll cut that. <laughs> so, she's on birth control, right? Yeah. And, uh... I said, you know what? I've never done that before. We'll see about that. Yeah. You know, when we hang out. And we hang out one night. So, like, okay, before you even hung out with her, as you're leading to meet her, you know, what was your kind yeah. of mindset at? Were you still at just like a whatever happens, happens? Or were you leaning a certain way? I was definitely leaning up to doing it. Okay, you're yeah, like, okay, like I'm pre- feeling good. Clear-headedly, I was thinking, I'm probably going to do this. Okay. You know? <clears throat> So yeah, we Which Chris out. had never done before. Never. I've never done that. Not never. even with his like a long relationship. I've done it a few times. A few times with the condom on. And yeah. even then I'd be kind of scared. Yeah. You know? So this is a big step for me, you guys. Mm-hmm. Raw. Yeah. Raw dog in it. But yeah, so we, uh, you know, one thing led to another. We hung out. Mm-hmm. Things got hot. Things got spicy. Yeah. And, Mirrors fogging. You know, she hits me with the, do you want to cuddle naked? Wow, really? And I said, well, God damn it. <laughs> Fucking smother me in butter and call me a roll because I will do that. You know, <laughs> I'm not one to say no to things. You know, yeah, I'm trying to experience things. I'm in my 20s. You yeah, know? you're like, let's put the fireplace yeah, on. I'm Keep pushing 30. Warm. You yeah. know, so I said yes. Uh-huh. We're in my bed, and uh, you know, one thing leads to another. <laughs> I'm, I've entered. I'm inside. We're uh-huh. going, and you know, my sexual stamina, uh, you know, sensitivity wise. Yeah. I got a hair trigger after this no fap thing yeah. we had going on. You're like an like, Olympian at a hundred meter dash. A uh, blowing quick. Yeah. You know, real quick. Ten seconds or less. Yeah. And I think it, I think yeah, it started actually she was on top of me, like, yeah. you know, riding me and I was from the moment we started, I was like, I'm not lasting more than like two, three minutes right oh. now, you know? <laughs> And I literally just told her, I was like, I'm going to come. Like, <laughs> can we just get that over with? And then uh, we'll go again, yeah, you know, yeah. and then I'll really handle, you know? Yeah. And she was like, yeah. And then we're going. And then, yeah, I just fucking blow like a goddamn Did you give him like a blue whale. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think so. Well, I told her, I said, I'm going to come. And she kept going. And then I just fucking... Shot in there like yeah, a fucking shot in there like fucking Steph from the fucking <laughs> three pointer. <laughs> I can tell you're uncomfortable because your sister's yeah. Here. <laughs> the volume's a little lower <laughs> today. Yeah, all of a sudden, let's speak up. What'd you um, do? Yeah, so that happened, 
and it was marvelous. You know, it was good. I don't think it was as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I thought it'd be like life altering. Like Doctor Strange like, when he's like his eyes open, it's like. Ugh. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Yeah, or when he like leaves his body when she like. Yeah. It wasn't like that. Okay. I mean, it was cool. It was good, but I think I probably could have done without it. You know, mm-hmm. for the risks. Exactly. Like that's the only reason I wouldn't do it. You know, it's just the risk is just it's a lot, you guys. And if that wasn't enough for you, <laughs> you know. So then after, so would you feel right after? Right after I did that. Like, what was your thought process? That was nice. Okay. No worries. Yeah. At all. And then. Uh, so that was enough to like finish your oh, craving. And, and then we just, she just kept going after I did oh, that. Yeah. Like she just kept going. Yeah. Like I didn't even like it didn't happen. You know. Uh huh. Like, mm, and then I excuse me. feel it like coming out. It's just kind of a mess, you know? Uh-huh. And then um, we stopped. She went to the bathroom. I'm assuming some of it came out. I don't know. Yeah. I cleaned myself up. <clears throat> and then she came back. And then I think I was like, are you ready to go again, you know? <laughs> and she was She's like, like, no, my job's done. I got everything I needed. <laughs> got the collection I needed. God. And then she was like, she was like, it's kind of burning down there right now. I think I need to wait a little bit. Oh, shit. And I was like, that's not good. Like, what? Yeah. You know? You're like, I'm new to this. Is that normal? <laughs> that's <laughs> or, what I'm saying. You know? Do I have some kind of infection going on down there? <laughs> the shingles but I, but start I'm like, shingling? <laughs> I'm like, I know it doesn't hit that fast if I did have an STD. Like, no way she's already yeah. burning. You know, it's a couple of days at least. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So we waited and then we did it again. And then I came inside of her again. Again. And that round was decent, I think. You know, I think I did okay. I'm always critiquing my own performance every time. But yeah, that one was okay. And then... Yeah, we could, real quick. Sorry, side note. Yeah. We were talking about like tripoding ourselves, having sex. Oh, yeah. And then I was telling Chris how that just like added, an, add, would add another layer of like concern and thought into like your whole sexual activity. You know? Yeah. Like, how do I... Because once you review the camera footage, yeah. you're going to see yourself. And you're not going to look as good as you think you look. <laughs> God, no. And... I think it, we already probably critique ourselves enough, like yeah. just thinking, what do I look like to them? But mm-hmm. then you add a whole nother third person, literally, to that. And think know? about it, like what you say, how you sound, and then also, you're so <laughs> horny. It's like when you like, it's like when you sex, and then uh-huh. you come, and then you look at it after, and you're like, Jesus, disgusted like, we, a little oh, bit. What is this? Yeah. this is amateur at best. <laughs> you know? yeah. So after, you're just gonna be like, God, why did like I do that? The picture I sent you today, it was like. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> He said, oh my it was God. like a screenshot of a snap, and he was like, I don't even want to ask. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just said <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, too painful to even think. This is so embarrassing. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I hate myself. <laughs> Underwear pics? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so cringy. It's so but, like, good. you know, we used to do shit like that. Yeah, you know? Bro. Like, no like, matter what, you're high just going to try to ask sure. something. Like, I there. know I probably did that so many times. Did you ever, did you ever phone? I don't know if we talked about this on the pod. Have you ever had phone sex? Yeah. I don't think we have talked about it on the pod, but uh, when I was probably like 19 or 20-ish in there, um, that's when I was like heavy into the dating apps, yeah. like Bumble and Tinder and stuff. And I had matched with this girl and we had been snapping. And then at some point, like things just escalated. And then I think we were sending kind of, you know, lewd pictures back and forth. And then she was like, can I FaceTime you? And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. You know, and I was scared. But I was like, fuck it. Yeah. And we FaceTimed and then she would just like pull her like tits out mm-hmm. and like talk dirty to me. Wow. And then I would talk dirty to her and I'd flip the camera and just <laughs> be like, jerk it off. You should do like the quick one where you just tap and untap. So it's like, <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> she'd be like, let me see it. And I'd be like, all right. <laughs> I'd flip it. Yeah. And then it'd be going and then I'd just be like talking dirty too. Yeah. But it's like, that's when I was in my mom's house. <laughs> and... That sister right there, yep. that's home right now, listening uh-huh. probably. Yeah. She was in the next room, like, all the time. And those walls are, like, fucking paper thin. So I'd be, like, whispering, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're fucking. Like, that, what, what is that one song? I was like, oh, look, dirty, dirty. Wait, which was like, let me whisper. Let me whisper. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, love mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Oh, is it Freak Leak? I don't know. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was like that. It's like it's called the Whisper Song. I think it is. I think it is Angel would know. That's like a 2000s bop. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I would do that. And then it, got, it was crazy because we would do that like every night for like months. Oh, like shit. Dude, all the time. Jesus. Yeah. You're tenured. I know. We would do it all the time. Like at all, And that's when I worked at Kohl's and I would like close all the time. 
like during the summer uh-huh. and she'd always be like snapping me like when i was getting off work like hey what are you doing and i always knew every time that it was for that i think i remember that yeah i think i've told you guys before yeah because you're like nuts. oh i know what she's gonna want it was I fucking think. nuts and you guys never did anything in person huh no and she lived in <laughs> she lived in Antica, which is like 20 minutes from yeah, riverbank very close you know where we are where i grew up not where i am now <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but uh yeah, I always wanted to, but I think I was just scared. And then there's just so much tension that builds up from that. It's like, yeah. no way I would meet, yeah, just meet you in person after like, all know, that. Like it, At that that's age. That's all breaking wall. Like, that's all the so much wall breaking you need there. Yeah. No. I think you, I definitely you've seen done everything. I've I've snapped her recently, like in the past like <laughs> month or two. And how'd it go? Every once in a while, we'll like kind of rekindle a little bit. But now she's all about like seeing me in person. But it's never like... It's never like, oh, let's hang out. Like, I really want to see you. It's like, hey, you should come. I think she told me, like, to come to her graduation. And I'm like, look. What? <laughs> okay? Like, I'm not in this to fucking watch you yeah. get a certificate. Yeah. You know? I'm fucking, She's like, you want to come to my talent show? I'm here to breed. You know? <laughs> Stop. Point blank. Fuck it. That's nuts. I wonder if that's, like, a, like <clears throat> a safe. Oh, just hang out. Yeah. And she lives in Chico now. Oh, which is like three hours yes. from here, and she always tell me like you should come visit me. Dude, that'd be late. I'm like, it's just so fucking far. Like, <laughs> at my age, you know. Yeah, true. At these days off that we have, <laughs> with these knees, that long of a car ride, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know? by the time you're walking out, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, so maybe one day the stars are aligned and mm. it'll happen. You know, it's, I swear she never hits me up when she's here because like her family lives here. You know, so she'll yeah, come she, here. So she should be here. Exactly. Okay, so you're back. Anyway, so yeah, we go that second round, right? And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, you know, come inside again. Which is good. I didn't even question it. I just did it, you know? And before we even started, I prepared like, yeah, I'm going to do it again, I think, you know? And I asked her this time. She said yes. Yeah. And then I think we only did it twice that night. And then in the morning, we woke up. We did it again. <laughs> And then that okay that time morning this, breath huh yeah I'm sure and then that time it was the same situation as the first time where I said I was like dude I was just fighting the urge to climax the whole time and I was like I can't do like this is just frustrating you know so I told her like let me just finish and then we'll go again and but I said I'll pull out <laughs> so let me just finish I'll pull out and then yeah. we'll go again because I didn't want to you know, a third, third is a little, you're just getting <laughs> yeah. greedy at that point. Second, it was a mistake. Third, you're asking for it. It's exactly, you know, right. And <clears throat> she's on top of me when you have that conversation inserted inside of her, you know, we're going at it and she says, yes. And I said, okay, can I get on top? Because in my head, like if I'm going to pull out, it's best if I'm on top, you yeah, know, it's a little bit easier than yeah. just like, come on now. You know? And then she says, no, that oh. I can't get on top. Yes. And I'm like, okay. So then in my head, I'm also, I'm thinking again. When I am going to ejaculate, she's going to come off, you yeah. know? She'll get off. Yeah. She'll get off this pony. Yeah. She'll get off and, and you know. More than one way. We're going at it, hopefully. No, she actually told me she's never come with another man, so. She's never she, I sure as hell didn't make that happen <laughs> <You're either. never laughs> right. Okay, so we're going, and then I get to the point, and I say, I'm going to come, right? You say it. Loudly. Yes, I said it. Yeah. She heard me. Eye contact, right? Yes. Yeah. And she just keeps going. Mm. And I did not have the will at that point. <laughs> you were a little blinded. To, you know, hey, get up. You know <laughs> yeah. grab her and get, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I just, third time, people. Yeah. A third time in the span of fucking eight hours. So this all ends up to <clears throat> Chris is going to be a father very Dude, soon. Dude, I didn't know. Because if it not, isn't the first. I did not want to talk about this. If it isn't this. the second, it's damn for sure the third. And I used to get paranoid about like pregnancy all the time. Even when I would use like protection, I'd still get scared and stuff, you know? And then there was like one time when I was like 19, I went like raw and I was so, so scared. Yeah. And I haven't felt that way in like a while, but now I feel that way. Of course. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty worried. I'm pretty worried, you know? Yeah. But you'll be fine. But no, okay. The uh, the good thing. One, she's on birth control. Yeah. Big one. Two, we hung out two nights in a row. The first night we hung out, we didn't we did like a little bit of stuff but we didn't have sex yeah because she was on a period mm. that second day it was like the tail end of her period like she's like i might still be bleeding but then she wasn't mm-hmm. and if you are you know 
familiar. knowledgeable mm -hmm. with the menstrual cycle, mm -hmm. that is one of the best times to have sex mm -hmm. because it's one of the lowest chances of pregnancy. God. So it's all planned. <laughs> There's two things, you know. What what is it when <coughs> the girls are in the? Um... Also, I kind of just want to have a talk with her and be like, "Hey, you know, in the rare event that you know something." That, that little heartbeat is maybe detected. Yeah. You know. What are we doing here? Yeah. You know? Are we going to be deflected? Because she does. Baby. <laughs> are we defecting? <laughs> are we hitting the old fucking... defecating the baby out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, I want to have that conversation for sure, so that's coming soon. But uh, well, Hopefully sooner than this video. Fuck. <laughs> 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 or else you're going to... You get a little surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, she knows where I stand, so... I don't think that'll be a surprise to her. You know? So now that but you've done it, do you think you'll uh, want to do it again? No. Okay. It's just too much worrying, you know? And maybe every once in a while. But it's just like, for what? Mm -hmm. You know? Like, I think I could have, like, almost the same amount of pleasure just pulling out and just, like, jerking myself yeah, off. But who knows? Maybe know? it's addicting. Like, maybe once you're there, you're like, I know what it feels like to just, like, be comforted as you're... <sighs> In hindsight, it doesn't feel that way. Like, I don't remember it being crazy, like pleasurable it was nice yeah. but like it's just the stress that comes along with that it's just i don't know if it's worth it yeah because i was telling chris like one of the times i could think about where i was stressed about this similar situation but not similar at all because i'm not an idiot <laughs> was that it was I, I had sex with this girl and um i'm pretty sure i had a condom if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure uh huh and it like got interrupted because a dog was stuck in a oh. shed <laughs> And it was a whole thing, and it was like, Jesus Christ, I want to shoot myself. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was awful. And it was high. Ah, right? great. You know, that was bad. And my neighbors came, and I was home alone, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, that's so bad. Yeah. Actually, let me explain a little bit more. Yeah. We're having sex in where I used to live, which was a garage. Hey, don't be afraid to talk louder. We're having sex. Oh, great. <laughs> uh huh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> that <I'm so> <laughs> echoed. Okay. <laughs> I said, I love my ex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, thank you, next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love the famous Dex. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Favorite Diamond Slayer is T-Rex. <laughs> Go. Um, fuck it. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Anyways. Okay. Uh, we're having sex in the garage where I used to live. And my sister was gone at the time. And her husband and her kids, which was like, Jesus Christ, great. Like, I want to get someone in the house. Yeah. And um, I invited this gal. And she was like, oh, can I bring my dog? <laughs> and I was, it was like a brand new dog, wasn't it? Like, she just got yeah, the dog. Yeah, so because at first I was like, well, like, are you that attached to the fucking dog? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, why do you need to bring him? And I was, I think I said no at first. Yeah. Because one, you know, it's my not my really my house. And I don't even know what this dog looks like. It could be like a like a king corso for all i know <laughs> and i have cats and it's just like <clears throat> where's the dog gonna be like i don't know if it could like i have a bunch of kids toys in the back uh, yeah. yard i just choose them up put it, you know yeah so i said no i think but then she's like oh like that's the only way i could come and i was like well you know i love dogs <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know over. <laughs> yeah, i just forgot i love dogs you know we're Always all, have. We're all good, you know? <laughs> Always have, yeah. We're, we're all good. Saying, a dog's a man's best friend? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. I was like, just bring the damn dog. We'll figure it out, right? Yeah. Down bad. You know, I always say if you wait until you have a dog sitter, you're not gonna. You know? <laughs> you're not gonna. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. I, I was like, you know what? I'll do it. So yeah. then I uh, she came with the dog. And it was like a small dog. It was like a, what is it? Like a Was it ugly? Like a Yorkshire yeah, Yorkie. I think I just combined work, work, work Worcester. Sauce. I think it, it's actually called the Yorkshire or something. Yorkshire, yeah. yeah. I no, I think it was kind of cutish, but like after I was fucking, I thought it was ugly because of <laughs> yeah. this whole situation, right? Yeah. So then we put the dog in the backyard, and then we're hanging out in my room, and then like, you know, things get spicy. Things yeah. Happen, and then like we kind of. I'm being serious. Talk a little louder. Okay. <laughs> just we, normal uh, volume. I could just put it closer. Cause I'm okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. So we like start doing the damn thing ish. Mm -hmm. like, very early on, like I'm saying, give or take like three minutes, if that, you know. What do you mean? It, having sex. Sorry, like given, give or take like three minutes of having sex. Oh. I think I either hear the backyard, or I hear my phone. One of the two. <laughs> oh, it was I think I believe it was my phone mm -hmm. going off. 
So I'm like, what the fuck? I, like, I'm going to answer because it's a phone call. And no one really calls me because unless it's like an emergency, right? Yeah. Excuse me. And it was one of my, it was the sister that left. So I'm like, okay, I want to make sure like, you know, everything's good. So she, <laughs> I had a missed call and then I have like a couple texts. Yeah. And it was like, hey, do you got, is there a dog in the backyard? <laughs> or like, hey, are you home? Like, like a few texts. Yeah. I was like, and I'm high. And I was like fuck like what the fuck like what's going on <laughs> they have a ring so i was like okay maybe then but i don't even remember if i took this lady in through the front door or through the side yeah. gate which is awful yeah um because i wasn't really trying to even be sneaky about it yeah i wasn't i didn't care mm -hmm. um so then i called her and i was like hey what's going on and she's like hey like uh i think the neighbors were saying like there's a dog that's like heck of barking in the backyard <laughs> is there someone over or something? I was like, Oh yeah. Like my friend came over and you know, she has a dog and yeah. she's like, okay, well, like just figure it out, whatever, you know, hung up, it's nothing crazy, big deal. Right. Yeah. yeah. I changed for a second. I just put shorts on. I don't even think I put a shirt on. Cause you know, I didn't expect anyone to be in the fucking backyard. Yeah. <laughs> I go to my backyard and my neighbors are in the backyard <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Hiya. The standing <laughs> emoji. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? You know? <laughs> and they're like, oh, so you are home. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, that dog, like, has been barking for, like, days, you know? And, and how long had it actually been that it was barking I, for, if I, you had to guess? I don't know. Probably a while, though. Like because 30 minutes? We had probably been, well, I just don't know when it started. Yeah. But you know what's funny? When we put the dog in the backyard, I closed the sliding gate and we were both like looked at the dog, like me and the gal, to be like, Okay, what is he gonna do? Yeah. And we were just chilling. You know? We were just sitting there. We stayed for like a minute or two and we're like, Okay, he's good. And we went to my room because <laughs> yeah. my garage is like the farthest away it could be from the fucking yeah. backyard. It's not even in the house. Like you can't hear anything. Yeah. <clears throat> so they're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, the dog's been barking and we're trying to see, like, because they know that, you know, my sister doesn't even have a dog. So I think yeah. that was a big thing, too, but it was also really annoying. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> they were like, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, my sister or my friend, you know, she came over and she has a dog and my the yeah. girl was there, right? And they're like, okay, like, we'll, we'll take care of it. They're like, oh, okay. And they, they kind of like left, you know, thank yeah. God. Because uh, I was like, okay, like, I'll handle it, like, late. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what was trippy was because, we were doing the damn thing. Yeah. And they had to have passed my door, which has a window <clears> to <throat> my room. And I'm like so scared that they might have saw Was something. it nighttime too? Yeah. But the TV was on. Nighttime, you can see you can see into your room, but you can't see. Yeah. You can't see out. I can't see out because it's so dark. You couldn't see them pass by, but they yeah. could see you like full. So they might have been like, Oh, is anyone home or something? And they would be like, they Oh, well. See <laughs> <you> fucking... <laughs> yeah. Oh man. They see me in all leather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so they left and so what happened is this dog is on the side of the shed that has some tools in it but it's like deep um inside the side of the shed and in between the shed and the fence like no human could go in yeah literally just small animals oh <laughs> so it was deep in there and oh my gosh one i was high two i just saw the neighbors i don't even know what's going on yeah i was just having a good time ish yeah you know ish. i was like what is going on you know <laughs> And then, <laughs> and, um, uh, and dude, like it's barking, like, ar, 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 just yelling. Ar, ar. God. God, please. And I can't reach. And I literally, <laughs> I tell this girl, bro, I was like, I was like, dude, and I, I feel kind of bad but at the same time. I did it. Cause it's like, this is her dog. And I don't know. It's not going to come yeah. to me. I was like, you got to handle this. <laughs> I was like, cause I think I tried for a little bit, but like it wasn't going to come to me. And like, yeah. it was, if anything it was more scared of me trying yeah. to grab it. And I was like, you got to handle this. Like, I don't know, but like, can you just figure this <laughs> out? You know, like helped her with getting a broom. Yeah. And dude, at first she was just calling it and it just wasn't budging. Well, fuck, it doesn't I, even know new, its name it's yet. It's a new dog. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, we have to like, yeah. we're gonna, cause it just kept barking. Like it wasn't a quiet, you know, procedure. It was like, <clears throat> it was just getting more and more intense because it kept yeah. barking. So yeah, we finally had to like force it. I think I remember like, like we like just broom that shit God out damn. because it wasn't going to come out yeah like, you know yeah and then we just grabbed it and then we and then like we had to keep her in the my room it's like ah <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i was oh my god bro and then we we just stayed in my room for like five ish minutes and then i was like we just cuddled and like didn't do anything and i think she went home like really soon after like did you just, tell her to leave or did she want to leave i don't remember no i remember I remember, and I, I feel bad, but I just remember, like, that whole situation was just so much to handle. Yeah. Such a, fucking, <laughs> such a bitch, like, such I a know. drama queen. It like, really oh, wasn't God, that bad, so probably. Much, but I was high. Yeah. So I just remember being like... Excuses everything, Like, because yeah. I could... 
<laughs> it explains, okay? Yeah. Because I could have went back into it, you know, like where we took off. Yeah. Even if the dog's there, like, I'm sure it wouldn't have been that bad, maybe. But I remember just being, like, so in the, not in the mood to have yeah. sex or do anything. Yeah. Like, I just wanted to, like, lay down and just, like, calm down and just be, like... I just want to like sleep or watch a movie <laughs> or something, you know, yeah. but I wasn't really in the mood to do anything. And mm-hmm. then I think she could feel that vibe. Cause like, I think there was just no like escalation of anything. And then yeah. I think she just was like, okay, like I'm going to take off. I was like, Oh, okay. You know, Damn. I felt bad. When you guys were going to hang out, was that basically the plan? Like just to bang or was it like, Oh, let's yeah, hang out. Like, no, like we had been like, this has been a girl I kind of like, t- like talked and on and off with for a while. Yeah. And, like, never did anything, but we had a couple like sexual experiences over the phone you know oh wow and facetime no like snap. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay and um so like we both knew we were like dude we're, we're both pretty horny yeah like you know it's like go we know what's gonna happen yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but i mean i wish i, I <coughs> if i was like a sober person i think i would have handled that way better yeah i would just been like okay like we got to figure this out but the neighbor thing was just so that's out just of ridiculous. left field. that would have made me so fucking pissed that like, was, that's what like ruined there's whole no thing, way you, know? you went into my backyard like with no you know yeah like well i guess they probably called your sister i right? think they did ask my sister like hey because my sister thinks it's a random stray dog probably yeah. in the backyard okay, stuck. yeah but at the same time like, like mind your business i don't know, you know? yeah just like put, turn the tv on louder. okay regardless though if i hear a dog yapping like that next door like I'm not telling my neighbor anything. I'm just going to be like, oh, they the must do- have a dog over. The dog's and at that's it again. It. That's that. Yeah. Like, no way I'm going to be like, wow, like, I should probably call them to make sure, like, yeah. everything's okay. You like, know? Like, bro, that's what? how that neighborhood was. Because I remember I told this story, and I'll tell it really quick, because I think I told it before, uh-huh. was that one time, um, I used to go to over to my sister's a lot. Because by our school, right? Because by our school. I didn't live there at the time, but I would just go there to chill until my mom could pick me up or something yeah. like that, or until practice started or something like yeah. that, right? So I remember one time I walked to their, to their house and I think I didn't, I forgot the key or no one was home. Yeah. Usually someone's home and I was like, fuck. And like, so, and I wasn't doing this suspiciously at all, even though it's a suspicious, <laughs> suspicious uh-huh. activity. It, I wasn't trying to do it in like a suspicious manner. You know, the way to kind of get into a house without the key is like through the window, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember like, I think I was trying to see if any of these windows were like loose, oh, like okay. the screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, so I tried the front and I tried the side and like clear daylight, you know, backpack yeah. on, school yeah. backpack on, <laughs> you know, tried the side gate, tried the backyard, nothing. I think I, cause I used to do this all the time. Like I used to always take off screen doors and just get in the house through that. In the window? Yeah. Oh, cause shit. I would always forget. So yeah. My family would always forget their keys or something like that. So I always had to do it, but it's such a bitch to put it back on. <laughs> yeah. It's like Those such things a are pain. So hard. Yeah. And it was like my brother-in-law's house too. Who's who at the time I didn't have a good relationship that well mm-hmm. with him. So I was always like scared. I don't want to mess this up. You know? Yeah. So I remember just being like, okay, um, someone was going to pick me up. So they had like a, a broken down jet ski outside of their house that's mm-hmm. covered and I just sat there, like just, just waiting. Accepted defeat. Yeah, I was just like, okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna get picked up. I'm, like I'm just waiting and waiting. So you're you know? sitting on the jet ski. Yeah, and I'm just like, <laughs> I think I, I, at the time I just like laid there and was just yeah. listening to music or something. And then like this lady came up to me, mm-hmm. and it was the neighbor from across the street, and okay. she's like, hey, you know, like, she's like, do you like know the people that live here? I'm like, oh yeah, like it's it's my sister's house, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, just. Uh, <laughs> Like, I just can't get it. I don't, I don't yeah. want to get picked up or something. And she's like, oh, what's her name? And I was like, Alex. And she's <laughs> like, no, it isn't. And I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> I was like, that's her, that's her name. And then my I was like, sister. Yeah, my, my sister. If you look at the picture frames, I'm in there. <laughs> yeah. And then I think I was like, oh, let me try Alejandra. Because she goes by both. Yeah. And I was like, Alejandra. And I think she was like, believe me then. Because that's yeah. fucking her name. Yeah. And then she's like, okay, like whatever and then she ended up like walking back yeah i'm like bro i'm like clear as day just sitting yeah. here like i'm not gonna God try to commit a crime it. and then just chill <laughs> exactly or you wouldn't loiter, just chill there you know? in broad daylight you know and then i have a school backpack on and i <gasps> look like what Jaime high looked school. like back then <laughs> <laughs> it looks so not threatening. not threatening at all and uh <laughs> and then i guess after you know the neighbor talked to my sister and she's like yeah i called the cops and she's like but then i i talked to him what and the fuck? and like i don't know like it, i called him back you know oh wow was but, it a white woman yeah that's profiling and she she used at, to be she used to be um 
the people that answer the cops. Oh shit. Like, you know, the yeah. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah. So I think she was just like very like paranoid yeah. and like, you know, quick connection with the cops. God, I was like, Jesus. Damn. You yeah. know, like God. So that would have been nuts if the cops came. I mean, it would have been so easy to prove my innocence. Yeah. Like, okay, bro, oh, like, I live here. Or my sister lives here. Like, yeah. you know, give her a call. Okay, but what's the reason that you brought up that story to tie it all back in there about the dog and the, the you know? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. So, the reason I, uh, you know, gave that story was because, like I said, I, I only had sex with a girl for, you know, max five minutes, max. Yeah. That's pushing it. And you didn't it finish or anything, Nothing. right? I'm close. And condom on? I believe so. I'm huh. like fairly certain. You, I bet you were wrong. No, I'm, no, no. I think I did because, okay, so the whole Raw point was. Raw condom? No, condom. Okay. Because, you know, I was at work, and that time I was working third shift, and. um, You say that like everybody. <laughs> oh, sorry. Overnight shift. <laughs> uh-huh. And in that day, I was working this certain position where we used to pack boxes. So, you used to literally be like a robot <clears throat> where it would be like this. So, could you hold my mic? <laughs> I was like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> so, the box would fall down. You'd get the box. You'd put it here, it would fill up. You do like a little fan fold as the other one comes. And you just do that. You're literally a robot. It's nuts. Damn. So you're just for like eight hours? Yeah, it's awful. That's insane. You get forced. forced. Would it ever get so fast where you couldn't keep up? You're like, fuck. Yeah, I would have to stop the machine. Oh, you could stop it. Yeah, so I'd stop it. But, you know, you're not supposed to keep like stopping it because it'd be like, what the hell? But they knew I was new. So they're like, you know, whatever. Yeah. And uh, um, I remember. Throughout that shift, she had like hit me up and be like, "Hi, man, like, I'm scared. Like, uh, uh, like I don't. Oh fuck. I th- okay, this changes the the perspective, and I don't remember if it's one of the two. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Either she wasn't late, and it was just like out of nowhere. Like she was just scared, just yeah. overthinking. Or she was late like two, three days. I think she was. I, late. I think she was like I think she late, was. like just but like a couple days, like yeah. You know, like girls. I'm pretty sure girls' pregnancies like. For, I don't know if this happens to, or if this was your case, but my sister's like whole body, all of them, like the way their body works has always been weird. Like, like they've always never had, like a set. they've always had issues. No, but like, yeah, oh, that too. Yeah. But they've always had issues with something, <clears throat> but like, it's all because they're like women, like, you know, like either like they're heavy or like they're miss this or they have like this kind of infection. Irregular they cycle. Have, oh, they have like yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, always yeah, going on with their bodies where I'm like, Jesus yeast, Christ. Uh, not yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you tires, yeah, infection. Or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like definitely. always, like always something. And I mean, like <clears throat> they're not like bad people. Like not bad people, but yeah. they're not like doing anything crazy. It's just like, that's just, <clears throat> just shit out of luck. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so one common thing that I know is that like the period uh, cycle is like not really. It's not always spot It's not on. set. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's, you're not getting and paid. How many the... stories have you heard where yeah. it's like, Oh my God, my girlfriend might be pregnant. And yeah. then it's like 10 days late and they're like, Oh, she got it. You're yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Like you're not getting paid on the first. Every, yeah. <laughs> every, every day, every yeah. month. So I'm like, I think it was late, like by two or three days, like just barely. Yeah. And she's like, I'm scared. Like I'm nervous. And I'm at work, bro. And I like this box drop thing just lets you think, you know? Because yeah. you're just oh, God. you're just a machine. Uh, you're not doing anything. And I just remember being like, Oh my god. <laughs> like at first I was like, bro, like, whatever. You know, whatever. Like you're not gonna be pregnant. But dude, like it took a lot of reassurance and like messages throughout the whole shift. Like my whole like God. I think for like four hours before she fell asleep. Like she stayed up. And towards the middle part of like conversing with her. I was starting to get really concerned because she kept like, yeah. you know, being like, oh, I don't know, like, uh, and all this stuff. And I was like, wait, like, I was like, what am I going to do? And then she was like looking up, like, how much an abortion costs. Oh, my I was, like, God. Jesus, that's already. a lot of money, you know? How much was it, like, 500? No, I think it was like in the thousands. Fucking shit, yeah. really? Yeah. I think wow. it's the, quite of an expensive procedure because I always thought that too. I always thought, like, <laughs> oh, worst comes to worst, you get a baby. We just had that abortion. But, yeah. You know, that's San Diego. We're gone. You know? Yeah. That's San Diego money. That's a couple months that we got to push it back. Yeah. You know? So Fuck. I remember getting pretty concerned, but then it kind yeah. of all looped. But you I make had to, me so anxious right now. But, I, but no, no. But like I had, well, she's not even late. I had to be like the rock, in a not in a to like, be like acting like you're not concerned, so that she's yeah, in a not in like a jerk way. Like, bro, bro like, are you kidding me? Like, it was more yeah. just like we're okay. Like, we barely had sex. I had a condom on. You've only been late like a couple of days, yeah. and. I'm not saying to not be concerned, but let's give it like Those chances a week are like or so two. low. Yeah. And yeah. like, let's give it like a week or two before we really start like talking and sitting about 
you know, what's yeah. going on or go get a test or something, you know? Yeah, you have like three months until you can, you know, that abortion. Like a pre- Isn't it three months? Until what? Like that's basically when you get an abortion is like up to the three month mark. Is that like law? No, I just think it's like, I think, let me fucking look this up. <laughs> like, what are you saying? Like, I think most people get it within the first three months, right? Like, I don't know if they let you do it after three months. Let's see. When's the latest you got an abortion when in California? Is, oh, God, God imagine actually bad. needing to, like, look this up, like, the mind state you'd be yeah. in. Yeah. When is the I have to check my bank account first you before I ask. can get an abortion. Oh, God. This is Planned Parenthood, so this is a good source. Yeah. Chris is going to need to know this, see? <laughs> Stop. Um... Ask. God, of course, the fucking paragraph. <clears throat> Didn't come off, uh, come up in Safari. Let me look for. Let me see if there's a quick answer here. Okay. Anyways, I was calming her down, and then yeah, we basically got to the point where I was like, okay, like we're chances are on our side, you know, probabilities on our side. And then she ended up having her period like within that week. <laughs> it was all good. Oh yeah. And I was like, okay. God, you know? how relieved were you too? Fuck. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, you know, we're pretty good. But I've been yeah. in some other riskier positions. Where I'm like, this isn't one of them. Okay, in most states, abortion is an option up to 24 weeks of pregnancy. So that's four times divided by eight weeks, eight months. Am I an idiot? What? Six. 24 six weeks. Mo- oh, six months. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the absolute max. Yeah, like you should be. Like, I think most are the first trimester. Yeah, because I think. Best. Well, I think it's just unlikely for the person to wait <clears throat> to six months. Like they'll. Of course. The person who knows knows. Yeah. You, you know. You know. Yeah. Um. See, I'm a little worried, you guys. Yeah. Um. You know. I think I'm probably fine, but it's a little concerning that I did it three times. You know, that's three. a big regret. Like maybe once would have been fine. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but three is just a little overkill, you know? And then, yeah, we didn't do it after that third time how we were supposed to because I had a doctor's appointment for last episode as well. Mm-hmm. I had this uh, rash coming in on my back and now it's also on my front. Yeah. Um, but I had a doctor's appointment, which was long awaited. I tried to get in so much earlier, but I had to wait all the way until Friday, and I discovered the rash on Monday, so it was terrible. Because it was painful. <clears throat> but yeah, we finished that round, and then I was like, fuck, I have to go to the doctor. Like, I'm Which be late. Sh- she knew that you had a potential yeah, rash. Yeah, just to clear that up. Yeah. I told her before we hung out, I was like, I just think you should know. Like, I have this like pretty painful rash on my back, and like I'm pretty sure it's uh, poison oak, but it could be this thing called shingles. Pretty sure shingles is contagious, you know? And she was like, all right, I don't give a fuck. I was like, all right. <laughs> so we just hung out. And yeah, to get to that. Uh, yeah, I went to the doctor. It was already like really uncomfortable when we were on the pod on Tuesday. It was already like fucking bad. And then, like I said, I called to the doctor the next day to try to get in. And they couldn't get me in until Friday. And it was fucking terrible. Like, it's shingles, by the way, <laughs> which is uh, yeah. if you, you have the chicken pox as a kid. I think you can see that from there, probably. Oh, it looks dying. Yeah, it's scabbed up. It's all flat and stuff, which is nice. Let me get up so I can show the back. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> kidding. Um, yeah, I went to the doctor. I thought it was poison oak because we had gone on a hike on okay, Sunday. S- squat down. The lighting's kind of abrasive. I don't know if that's the right term. Squat down. Like, s- back up. <laughs> no, like, you're going to squat. Like, you need proper form. Yeah, now you're talking. Uh, okay. I think that shows, maybe. All right. Well, anyways, <clears throat> I went to the doctor. The doctor took, like, one look at it, and he was like, that's shingles. He's like, it's not poison oak. He's like, poison oak kind of just does its thing, and it goes away. And he was like, this is, like, pretty bad, which it was fucked. I'll put some pictures here. Yeah. And, like, I always thought, because I'd seen, like, commercials for shingles. Also, my sister had shingles when she was, like, eight years old. And it just looks like a rash. So I thought like, oh, it probably just hurts like pimple kind of pain. Like, you know, skin's a little irritated. No, it was so fucking bad, dude. Like so bad, so uncomfortable. It's like the deepest like pain. Like it felt like my muscles were just cramping all the time in my back. It was fucked like so bad (laughs) because I would always see the commercials because it's like an old people's thing too, which I'll get to. But it'd always be like old people like. Oh, it's like the worst pain I ever had. Like, get the vaccine. It was like vaccine commercials for shingles, oh. you know? And, like, oh, that's and they'd always be saying, yeah, like how bad it hurts. And I was like, whatever, you know? <laughs> Grow it up. fucking hurts so bad, you guys. Like, I wish I would have gone to the doctor so much sooner. Because you need, like, medication. It doesn't just, I don't know. I don't think it just goes away. Because <laughs> it was just getting worse and worse and worse every day. 
I think it could kill you if you go long enough. That's what I've heard. But um, yeah, because I guess it doesn't just go away. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, if you have the chicken pox as a kid, this is what that is. So like, your body like fights it off, whatever. But like, viruses stay in your body, but your body just keeps it at like a super low number because it recognizes it and kills it, you know. But when you get older, for some reason, you can get this the shingles, which is the chicken pox virus coming back, but it's like in a slightly different way, I guess. You think it's like is is shingles less concerning than chicken pox? Um, I have no idea. I think I don't know. I had it twice as a kid. Apparently, chicken pox. I don't know how you fuck you get it twice. I thought you get that. I That's thought that I'm only saying. happened in like the fifties. Yeah. No, I don't know, man. <laughs> I didn't get the vaccine though because I had it because I got it and then you're like immune. Oh, uh, well, that's what you thought. I yeah, remember, exactly. Uh, fuck. Remember when that child book where she had like spots all over her and I think it was like rainbow spots or something like that? Skittles commercials? No. <laughs> Grow up. No, I don't think so. It's like oh, she was like, or maybe she was a rainbow all over. She was a rainbow. Her skin was a rainbow for some reason. And I think she like would hug people and they'd, they'd get it. No, I just remember like the hungry, hungry cal- caterpillar and the good night moon. Was it like a green caterpillar yeah. with stripes and then orange like ears or something? No, I'll show you right now. So then. But, yeah, I went to the doctor. It was fucked. Uh, super fucking painful. Um, yeah, I had to get like, I'm on like antiviral medication right now. Also, he gave me like pain pills for when I sleep that I've been taking. Um, he said they'd make me goofy. They did not. Kind of disappointed. Bro, Chris I was thought so, I was gonna get a free high. Chris was so concerned. <laughs> He's like, "I don't." Would you say you didn't want to? I didn't do? want to take them because they're like pain pills. He was like, "This is like pain pills," and I've heard of it before. What's called gabapentin, which is like a nerve pain blocker or some shit like that. I don't know, but anything like pain pills, I just get scared because I'm like, I know people get addicted to those. I feel like I'm gonna have like an addictive personality, you know? I just get scared. Yeah. And then I told my mom like, "Oh, he gave me this, but I don't think I'm gonna take it." She was like, you need to take it. Like, if he gave it to you, it's for a reason. You need to take it. I was like, fuck, okay. I do sleep really well with them, though. I'll say that. It just makes you really calm. taking them, even after. It's like, hey, I, I still have hella left, and I'm not in, really in pain anymore, like, at all. Keep like, taking, I don't need it to keep sleep. Take them. You know? Should I? No. <laughs> stop. If they're only for pain and no medicine <clears throat> I told myself today at work I was going to stop taking them. But I just sleep so good. Chris, stop. You know? Seriously, get that out of your head. that's where it goes. I'll that's why I didn't want to take them in the first place. Give me the pills. I'll flush them. We'll flush them after? Yeah. We'll flush them in the video. Okay, but we'll keep, we'll keep one just for me. In case. Tonight. Like, what if they... <laughs> <laughs> There's one more. I'm just kidding. You, like, spread it in half so you can have it for two. <laughs> but, yeah, man. It was fucked and uh, super painful. I know I had a point I was getting to before I got distracted, but... Okay. Anyways, yeah, yeah, shingles is fucked. Um... I think it leaves a scar too, so I'll probably have a fat scar on my back. The front didn't hurt that bad, but so fucking itchy, like so it's like itchy. A paintball hit. Yeah, it looks like I just have a bunch of scabs now, but they were like fluid filled, like blisters. It was really gross. But um, yeah, okay, this is what I was going to. So when I went to the doctor. He told me like, yeah, usually like old people get this, you know, like over fifty. Like yeah. they don't even make the vaccine. You can only take the vaccine if you're over fifty years old. So the shingles for the vaccine? shingles, yeah. <clears throat> and I was like, okay. And he's like, yeah. And the only way you get it if you're like young is uh, if you're really stressed, like a lot of stress. And I was like, F- okay, you know. And then I went to the pharmacy after to get my medications. Or, well, it's stress and contagious. So maybe that's <clears throat> it, right? Hmm? Stress and contagious. And like I got it from somebody, you think? I'm just saying that's another option, but not I mean, likely. Yeah. I think, I think it's pretty hard to like give it to somebody though, I think. Because I asked him that. I was like, is this contagious? And he's like, yeah. But he's like, only if you're like really scratching it. And then he said specifically, if you scratch it and then you touch a pregnant woman or a baby. So, yeah. so like he, he I just basically said like pretty it's probably fine. contagious. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And then I went to the pharmacy after to get my medication. And then the pharmacist like was telling me about my pills. And she's like, okay, you take this one like this many times a day, whatever. And then she was like, how old are you? <laughs> I was like 23. She's like, you're 23 and you have shingles? Like she was, but like the way she said it, and I was already just like down bad. I just busted my third nut inside of somebody, you know, I'm already kind of worried. You had to wake up early. (coughs) I had to wake up early. I had like three hours of sleep, you know, literally. And I just wanted to cry like right then and there, like literally. And the whole walk to my car, I was just like, I wanted to cry Uh so bad because I was just like, I shouldn't be having, like she, she was saying like, you shouldn't have this, you know? Like, and then she, she asked me too, she's like, are you under a lot of stress? And I was like, fuck, like I'm always stressed, but like, 
I don't think I've been stressed like crazy more than normal. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, just getting the shingles, it was like, it just made me reevaluate like a lot and like take a look at my life and how I've been like feeling and stuff. And I think it's, I like I've been stressed for sure. I would say that my job stresses me like more than I otherwise would be. Yeah. Like it's pretty stressful. And, uh, but the big thing it's, I think it's like a, 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 uh, compounding of different factors. So I think it's the stress from my job and stuff. Mm -hmm. I also stress about the pot a lot, but more than that, I'm just like spreading myself super thin all the time. Like I go to work for like eight hours. I come home. I barely have enough time to like do what I want to do in the pot. And then I go to jujitsu and then I come back and then I like barely have time to eat. And then by the time I get in bed, I'm already getting like six hours of sleep. You know, so like I'm always running on like less. I'm always tired as fuck at work and then I'm super stressed on top of it, you know. So I think it's just like a culmination of all these different things and like lifestyle choices, you know. So I'm like, fuck, you know. And so I don't know. It got me, it got me thinking about my job most of all because I'm like, OK, I think something needs to change because like obviously this shouldn't be happening, you know. And I feel like that's like a. Uh, yeah was the doctor concerned at all was he like no surprisingly he wasn't like are you stressed or like what's going on you know i thought he would investigate it. Hey, yeah, did it right? cost? how much did it cost out of pocket um i don't think it's gonna cost anything because every time i go to the doctor it doesn't cost me i think i, I paid oh, it's 27 it's your dad's right yeah my dad is banging ass insurance it's 26 i think yeah Damn. 26 27 Use that shit. definitely i could have my own two through work but i'm just like too lazy to do it so i haven't done it but, uh, and his is banging, so I'm like, why not change and, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But, um, it's funny too, because I went to the doctor, he was like, he's like, I was just thinking about you the other day. And I was like, really? And he was like, he's like, well, not to be weird, but he's like, because I went and saw him uh, like a few years ago, I think. And it was when we first started doing all our hikes and stuff to like cool, like swimming spots. And then I, I think he'd asked me like back then, like, what have you been up to? And I was like, oh, I've just been hiking. Like, I go to a lot of swimming holes and, like, jump off, like, cliffs and shit into the water, you know? And he's, like, super into that. He's very, like, adventurous and stuff. And I told him, like, a lot of the names of the places we've gone. And then he's like, I still have them all written down on my phone. And he, like, pulled it out and was, like, reading the names. He's like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to try to bring my kids, like, because his kids, like, love cliff jumping, oh, too. Shoot. Are they older like us? I think so, or, like, nice. teenagers. But, yeah, he's like, yeah, we're going to go this summer for sure. And it was crazy, too, because um, when I was leaving the appointment, he was like, hopefully I'll see you out there on a hike one day. And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever, you know. And then he was like, maybe I'll give you a call and we could go together. And I was like, for real? Yeah. Like, what? I don't know if you, like, he seemed very serious. Oh, yeah. Like, there was no yeah, laugh. You don't say that for no yeah, reason. Yeah, so I was like, that's kind of crazy, you know. Like, you should. Wow. I think if he hits me up, I have to, right? I like, think you should hit him This guy's up. been my doctor since I was, like, six years yeah, old. Yeah, bro. You know? I, that's crazy. I've had the same doctor. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. He's, he's watched me grow, grow up. up. Yeah, literally. Like, he, you know, like, probably from, like, my first, like, little vaccines and shit, and now I'm busting three nuts He's, like, smacking a little butt, like, you know? Great. <laughs> No, that is wild, man. But yeah, that was interesting, you know. But yeah, the shingles just made me take a big, uh, big look at my life and my balance of like, you know, fun and work and sleep and shit. I definitely want to like change my work schedule to have at least one more day off. So I think I'm trying to do like four day work week at least at first. Why didn't none pop? I think my toe just popped. But oh, go well. harder, please. Um, they're all on their verge. <clears throat> I just feel like I'm gonna break your shit. <clears throat> ah, nice. that was a good one. Ah, well, win some, you lose some. Yep. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try to take like another day off work, just be like four day work week, you know? That'd be so nice. I'm hoping that makes like a good difference. But I think ultimately, I want to find a different job. Yeah, because I'm just the, thinking. I think the stress it's, load it's, is just too much. What's the job? It's the job description. Yeah, it's gnarly. Yeah. It's gnarly. I'll talk about it at some point, but. Once I'm done there, probably. But yeah, man, I don't know. Just honestly, it scared me. And I've been in like a weird mood like all weekend because of it. Just because I'm like, I don't know, man. Just didn't. I never expected it to happen. You know. To get shingles. Yeah. Yeah. Like who the fuck else do you know has shingles? You know, and is yeah, young. Exactly. You know? Like everybody I've told her, like, oh, my grandma got that. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. You know, when she was like 70. So I'm like, God damn it. And it's kind of concerning. It's embarrassing even saying it. And I feel like I'm a very healthy person, which is why it's really concerning. You know, like I don't really get sick that often. And if I do, I'm not that down bad. And like just to get some shit like this, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I guess on? it is kind of crazy. Because when you tell me it was shingles, I was like, oh, shingles. You know, that's crazy. Yeah. But now you have the context of like yeah, young I guess, people don't get this. Yeah, you know? I guess Unless I didn't super. really understand the, the you know. So, yeah, that fucking bummed me out, man. 
even today at work, I was just in like such a shit mood. Like it's like I was just behind like a lens, you know, like mm-hmm. I just sit on my head. Like, why am I here? Like I shouldn't be working this fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is too stressful. I don't need to be doing this to myself. You know, it's not worth it. Like where's my health and shit. But and you got enough time. Like <clears throat> the big job, the job thing was good for experience. I guess you got that. I mean, it's yeah, been like, I've been what, there six eight months. months, six months. Yeah. Which I feel like pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Right? By the time you get a job, it'll be eight. And it's not like I just started and left, you know, I think it's a good enough time where it's like, yeah, it wasn't for me, yeah. you know? And that's like a good reason, you know? Yeah. Anyways, what else do we got? Speaking of, <laughs> I'm trying to smoothly transition this. Let me see if I can. Speaking of someone that's seen you grow up. No, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I was trying to go through my followers on Instagram. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, your boy's been getting some followers. So, you know, oh, just wow. throughout this whole thing. And I, I hit like a thousand followers. I'm like, holy shit. Really? Yeah. I don't think I'm at a you're thousand. You're close, Chris. You're like 900 I know, and yeah. like 20 something. <laughs> I've been told the other day, like, Chris, you're close. And I was like, really? I didn't yeah. even know. Yeah. I'm like, at a th- I think at 1,024, 1,074. What is, what I'm is it? at 923. Pretty Did close. you say 923 or 927? I think I said 927. Anyways, so what happened? So I was looking at my ratio and I think it was like a thousand something to... 1,200. Oh, wow. What are you looking at? Is this book? Yeah. I was talking about it earlier. The Hungry Caterpillar. Anyways. I don't even know how that goes. Did you ever see the feces book as a kid? Feces? It was like, uh, it used to be like a cartoon little like for child book. But feces? Yeah. And it was like about, oh, it was about a, a bug that rolls up poop. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> oh no wait that was two different books i think there was one mm. book that was about like a bug that rolls up poop it's a common i don't remember that it's a common animal Seems like a you kind of thing though yeah and then there was another <laughs> one that was like literally just about like different kinds of poops oh, wow. of like different species and stuff like that because kids gross. are into that you know yeah but i was just yeah you like you kind of want to just keep looking at him and like you know what's crazy it's just the fact that like caterpillars become butterflies it's a whole different thing like they literally transition into a different fucking bug you know, and I think it's a long process. Like when they're in the cocoon, it's kind of like a transgender like version of a bug. You know, yeah. Like if it, it, I mean, I don't know if their gender changes, but they're just becoming something totally fucking different. Do you think their POV changes? Because like, like now they went they from could, a like, land creature to an air creature. They they could fly. <laughs> you know, like that's different. Yeah, that's you went fucking nuts. Like how do they? Cha- how does that affect them? Like psychologically, do it's they like, have different eyes? You know. What changes? How do you grow their, wings? I think their head stays the same. It's nuts. Something's man. got to tell me that their head kind of stays the same. It's kind of sad that, like, I feel like so many animals and, like, bugs' lifespans are, like, a week. <laughs> like, I don't think butterflies live that long. I feel no. Like it's, like, a month or something at most. Because, I okay, look up how long does it take for a butter for a caterpillar to transform to a butterfly? Because I feel like it's, like, at least a week process. Like, uh, I think so. It's, like, a, a week. Like, how do you not get eaten? Only take approximately four weeks. It would take approximately four weeks to transform from larvae to butterfly. Each, I think it's like when the larva is oh, born. Like the, yeah, from the beginning to the end. Each larva is housed in its own little container. Keep oh, okay. That's like if you get those little things, you can get a Can you look up their lifespan real quick? Of a, of a butterfly. Well, of either or. Lifespan of yeah, say butterfly. a butterfly. It is one or two weeks. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's it. Pretty, it's so precious when you see one then. Because one, it's already so rare for like a butterfly to like land on you or yeah. near you. But you gotta think that's those motherfuckers are you Yeah. Know? God damn. They're quicker than fucking Chris's <laughs> checks, you know? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. nuts because like they really only have two weeks to experience the world and they're dead. Yeah. Imagine. What if you only had two weeks and you were this age? You know, like you just came into life. You're already 23. All the knowledge, like it's you right now. But you have two weeks. You'd have to block. You have to like space it out. Family time, friend time, mm-hmm. your time, sex time, it appreciation sex time. time. Yeah. yeah. You have to try to procreate too. Like I'm coming in you like seven times that day. God. So I yeah. can leave a seed. Yeah. Get there another family alive. You know? <laughs> Breed you. Just yeah, God. And then, and then. On the like the last day, he rest, you know. Yeah, sit he on rest. This, sit on like a hike. I always thought if long. I knew I was gonna die, I would do like a bunch of crazy shit, and like, 
I don't even want to go skydiving, but I feel like I would go skydiving just to be like, fuck it. You you, you'd and have I'd spend all my money. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't purposely try to spend money. Huh? Who are you leaving for? I was. I always thought I would leave my money to my nephew, Gio. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I don't know. He just seems like he's kind of my age, so he's the only one that would be like, he needs it. Yeah. I mean, it's not that much. You know, here's a few grand. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Take it. But um, not after this merch comes out, though. I can tell you oh, what. It's coming up. It's coming up. Okay. God damn it. Just wait. <laughs> Every <laughs> episode merch coming soon. Please wait. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. So I was going through my followers, right? Two to three weeks max. Don't say that. Okay. You know, Forget I said that. Possibly two to three weeks max. All right. Possibly. Yeah. No guarantee guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. Two to three weeks. Um, because I wanted to like kind of even that out. I'm not really one to care about that. But I was like, I don't know. You hit a thousand followers. Like I already have one half of the flex of being like, dude, I have a thousand followers. That's kind of yeah, kind of, kind that of heavy. Good. But then, you know, it kind of gets tainted, stained with the fact that I'm following like a thousand two hundred people, yeah. and and more of the fact that I know most of these people. Like, bro, I, I know most of these accounts are dead or whatever, yeah. or they're celebrities. And I went through them a little bit, but then I got distracted because I saw one of my ex's uh, finstas. Yeah. And I like I still follow it, I guess. And that's crazy. She, and she allows you to follow it still. Well, the thing about that finsta is like it died mm. when we died. Really? Like when we separated, like the finsta, like she must have made a new one, or I don't know. Like yeah, it's just like it hasn't been touched. Like the last post is me laying on her ass naked. <laughs> you know. That's on there? Well, it's like, it's you know, you can't really see it that well, but, you know, you get the picture. Wow. That's yeah. nuts. So I'm like, Jesus. Is that child porn? Jesus. Were you guys 18? I think. That's out there, I think man. so. That's because wild. I think we started, I think we started dating when I was 17. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. I wasn't going to specify which X, but there it is. Uh, <laughs> um, Sorry. But. <laughs> but so I was, like, I went through it, of course. So I was like, oh shit, like I forgot this thing existed, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was looking at like the captions and it was getting me like so sad. It was just like, wow, what a different time and how much you grow as a person, like how different you are, you know? Because yeah. I remember just one thing getting like, okay, so, you know, the captions were kind of saying stuff like, oh, like I can't wait to see like me, me, <laughs> yeah, you know, or this happened or like, oh, I'm about to go see, like we just had a good day with his family and, and uh. all this stuff or, or he's gone on this trip. Like I miss him. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like yeah. that's crazy. Like that's crazy. Some of them love me like hard, that hard. And that I'm they're like, fucking posting about a day with your family. Yeah. Like I can't, like I can't believe that's like a thing like that happens. You yeah. Know? I just haven't like, I'm not even saying that I miss that. Uh, I mean, maybe a little bit. Yeah. But I'm, yeah. it was just more like nuts to kind of see like, Holy shit, like this perspective is I haven't had that in a while, you know? And I have I have the same like Finsta that I've had since high school. And if I look back it is kinda like that, but I'm like it's just crazy because neither of us post like that on our Finstas anymore, like at all. Oh yeah. You know? And if we do it's like three sentences. You know? It's not like a fat paragraph or it's just like it's just crazy. You know, yeah. the shit that mattered back then. And um it was also I think I said this on the pod not too long ago, but like that dynamic of like you being someone's boyfriend is just so nuts it is crazy You're, and at that young age and i was looking at the pictures too and i was like i was just so ugly and she was <laughs> so, like she was really attractive you know uh-huh. and i was just like how like how is this even possible it's just nuts because i was like i was that like if from how a third just, from a third perspective hold on, get shut baddies, up. Man. Hold <laughs> from like a third person perspective like you literally seen this guy with this girl and then they're in love. Like you're just like, how? Yeah. <laughs> just like, what a it's crazy like us concept. Now. <laughs> we look at couples. Like, exactly. How? How? I was that, you know? <laughs> yeah. So that was nuts. I don't know. Damn. Yeah. When are you going to get cuffed again? Uh, I don't know. Do you think you will soon or anytime soon? What, what, what are you feeling? Oh, big guy? Huh? What are you feeling, big guy? Oh, <laughs> they said with the guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, who, who knows, you know? Yeah. Of course... I, I'm definitely the most simpy I've been, but yeah, I man keeps watching this one TikTok. <laughs> he sent it to me, and then he posts. I think he posted it on your Finsta too. And then I've been with you like multiple times, and you've watched it like every time, <laughs> a few times in a row. 
He's like, dude, I just can't stop watching this. It's so cute. <laughs> we'll put it right here. Oh. But it's it's this girl, this guy, they're like streaming or something, and they're like, tell him. They're like, no, you tell him. No, you tell him. No, no like, you he's tell like, him. Say it. And then he laughs. He's like, no, you say it. She's like, <laughs> you say it. And then they're like, oh, we'll say it together. And then it was like, <laughs> we. And then it was cute because it was like, she started it. And then, so she said we, he said we. And then I think he said R, and then he started it, so you could tell she said like she said it secondly R uh-huh. R, and you could tell that she just wanted him to like keep it going because she was like oh shit like he's gonna lead it, and then I think he said just or she said just, and then it was like a long gap because they didn't want to say it, and then I think she said we were just in love with each other. Oh, oh my god. god! And she's oh my she's gosh, so she's beautiful, so bro. beautiful. I follow her, of course. Is she a movie star or something? Or? I think she's just like a streamer, like a uh, social media gal. Oh man, yeah, and she's really so pretty. cute. It's like you say, it, you yeah, say it. Like, what a goofy. It like they're just so goofy. Tugs on the heartstrings a little bit. Yeah, you know, oh. it does seem not. I don't want to be cuffed for like a long ass time, and I stand by that. But like, it does seem nice, yeah. you know. It's not even cold anymore. What are we doing? Seriously. What are we saying? It's the shings. And the shings made me miss that beach day I was talking about. I mentioned it in the last spot too. Oh, what? We're supposed Isana? To to, no, we're supposed oh. to go to the beach with our friend Sophia. She like invited us to go with all her friends Fuck, and man. stuff. It was going to be so fun. And we, we had looked- this plan for like a month. Yeah. And we would talk about it like every week. Yeah, we'd be like, dude, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> It'd be so fun. And then I fucking was so down bad. And I was like, I can't do this. And yeah. then when we went to the lingerie party... She was there as well. She's the lip gloss girl if you're an OG fan. Jesus. <laughs> Exposing her. Yeah. And <laughs> fuck, my bad. But uh when I when we were at that party, we were playing all sorts of games, kissing games, and we kissed. Yeah. <laughs> and I was sick as a fucking dog with the cold. Oh yeah. And I got somebody sick, I'm pretty sure. And I just thought, I cannot be this fucking guy that goes to everything infectious you yeah. know infecting other people with his fucking terrible health yeah you know so he's doing it this weekend instead yeah <laughs> <laughs> no we are doing something this weekend though. oh we're going to another party hosted uh, yeah by the same people but who- he won't be contagious by then yeah i won't yeah i won't for sure for sure because it, it's looking like that but oh, it looks great in four days it's yeah it doesn't fun. even really hurt anyways yeah we're going to the same party hosted by the same group of people <clears throat> same or a theme which is the theme is like a redneck trailer trash trailer theme, park. which is interesting. Yeah. Also, the party's at 2 p.m., so we'll Bro, see how, like, that I don't know what's going on there. Little, like, and it's pissing me off. And it's fucking, it's, it's going to be June by that time. You it's going to be hot. It's hot as hell. Yeah. And there's a mechanical bowl. There's which no is, pool. No pool. Which yeah. would make everything make sense. Yeah. You know? So make it make sense. But we'll see. I'm going to we'll be drowning in pussy, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. We'll report back. We'll let you know. Yeah. I am planning to get hammered yeah <laughs> i don't know who's taking this home but it ain't moi <laughs> and it ain't toi. <laughs> okay so someone that mechanical bull better work by the end of the night because we'll ride the steer home we'll ride the steer home is that the bull yeah oh okay yeah but we'll see we'll see what happens but yeah i'm i'm uh you know i've had some stress so yeah who's to say whether the drinking plate of hard the shingles you know you never know <laughs> uh-huh but uh, yeah, I'm planning to go crazy, get oh, crazy, so get wild. Yeah, I did see a picture of the beach though, the beach trip we missed out on, and it was like really cloudy and overcast yeah, and cold. Yeah, didn't looking, look that so, great. So yeah. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's Santa Cruz because I think the plan for them at least was that day for that for that day their plan was to be there all day. So yeah, I don't know if they even ended up doing that. Yeah, I don't think they did, man. Did you ever ask her like, okay, we'll talk about that after. <laughs> Anyways, um, last thing, not last thing, but yeah, yeah, it's getting late. Yeah. Uh, I was saying I almost got in a crash. Oh shit! Yeah, it wasn't anything crazy, but I was driving on my way home or on my way to work in the morning, and I don't even think I was on my phone. Surprisingly, but yeah. maybe I was, <laughs> because I remember driving, and the way this road works, it was on the freeways that at one point kind of curves like this, just slightly to the right. So obviously you have to go from straight to to lean right. towards the right. Yeah. You know. And I don't know if the car either was trying to merge in my lane, but by how extreme it was, I'm assuming that was the case. Or if he just was continuing straight when it should be, he should start curving. But I remember driving and like, bro, literally to my right, 
this car was like right next to me. Like, like inches. it was about to hit <clears throat> as I was kind of going like this, you know, to avoid it, yeah, to avoid it. Oh, but like, fuck. I think I was like delayed into the curb as well, just slightly. Oh yeah. But yeah. that kind of saved me too. Cause they had some room to turn. Yeah. I had some space for him to come into my lane. Oh, he's like halfway through my lane. Yeah. And, and then he like, I was hella out by the time I realized. Yeah. And then I went back in and he went back in like, vroom. and I was just like, Dude, it was like just imagine looking to the right and the car's like right there. God like damn. it's right yeah. there. Did you honk? No. no. I don't it was just it just wasn't reacted. like it just reaction. Like I didn't damn. have time to like did honk. He, did you see the person? So then he like kind of was in front of me a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, it's just the I had to know. And I don't like <laughs> to know when shit like this happens cuz I don't even want to look at the person. Like I don't even want to look at the race or anything. Yeah. Like I don't want to yeah. be I don't know, like I don't want to have that in my mind. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, you know, that or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> But I just had to know, you know, I'm just like, bro, who, like, we're in the freeway, we're on the same freeway, and I had to be here for, like, another couple of miles. I yeah. had time to pick it up. Uh-huh. So I, like, pick it up purposefully to try to see who this person is, and then as I'm getting closer, I see there's, like, a car dent on the left side. Oh, shit. And I was like, you know, I suspected you were a bad <laughs> driver, but this just adds to that, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I was already like, God, you know? Oh, shit. And when I realized, when, you know, when that happened, I just remember being like, like, you know, you're just so, like, in the moment for a second. turn the music you know? down? <laughs> I think I did, probably. I was just probably like, dude, like, Fuck. what just happened? You second. should think, like, bro, if you die, like, you just be so, I'd just be so pissed. I don't think I'd let myself die because I'd be so pissed. Yeah. You know? So did you see the person or no? Yeah, so I drove up, and there was just, like, this older Indian guy. Oh. And this fucker had his phone. <laughs> he wasn't, like, you know, 20s, 30s person. A thirty age person, thirty year old person, like texting, you yeah. know, on the bottom. He was like this, Jesus, while driving. God, he was like this. I could see the phone from the side. Yeah, and Fuck. I was like, this motherfucker. He just he's like, not even concerned. At least after you almost crash into someone, you, you know, even for me, like I've done that where I've almost kind of crashed into someone. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know, let me focus. Like <laughs> yeah. something's, I gotta come on. Let's get it together, a minutes, you know. Yeah. Fuck. But. He didn't even care. It just happened. I was so pissed. <laughs> it just happened. I was just like, God yeah. damn it. Like, that would have made me infuriated yeah. if I like, saw. I thought when I passed him, he was going to be like, you know. Yeah. You know, like, no. And I would have been like, <laughs> you know. But then I, <laughs> I looked at him and he was doing that. And I was like, <laughs> I was appalled. Just no I just go like. <laughs> just did no all. remorse. Bro. Yeah. No, that's crazy. So Tess, I'm driving. Um. I'll like be on my phone like bad like I always am but I'll just get this kind of like I don't know it's it's almost like a flashback but it's more like it's like such a realistic like real quick like imagination of what it would actually be like if I hit somebody um, on my phone like yeah. rear-ended them or like you know hit them from the side and then we start swerving and roll or something like I just get like that feeling of like Oh, I can imagine exactly what it'd be like once I hit the person and yeah. realize what I've what I've done. Yeah, yeah. like, like I get, get that feeling, <laughs> and I put my phone down. So I'm like, dude, I can't. Like that just got too real. Like that imagination, <laughs> like hold it on, just got so real. And I'm like, I can't fucking do this. I you always, know? I always, always, always imagine hating a kid for some reason. Oh yeah, like for like, some imagine, reason it's like a child, uh, and I'm just like, like I just imagine like your life's they're over. Dead. Like your they're life's just over. Dead. I don't even think both I'm, your lives are over. Well, like, I don't even ever imagine, like, whose fault it is. Like, even though it's my fault, like, I don't imagine, like, legally. I just imagine just, like, even if I get away with it or not, like, I just murdered someone. Oh, and it's crazy how fragile we are. Because, you know, I'm always around my kids, my nephews and nieces. And, like, there's some situations where I, like, kind of zone out and think of them dying. Like, like if we're on a balcony, like, what if they just, like, somehow, like, magically slip? Like, they just fall and their head's crushed. They're dead. They're gone. Or they drown. <laughs> yeah. Or they, like, or something falls on them. Or they fall off the chair and they hit their head. Like, they're so fragile. Like, how are you not dying all the time? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's sketch. Or, like, God, it's just crazy babies, too. They have that soft spot. You know? Like, no way you're born with just such a weak their spot. Their whole head's a soft spot. <laughs> you, know? you know? Yeah. Like mashed potatoes in there. <laughs> like, gosh, I'll dip you with a chip and you're you're <laughs> disabled. So cream and onion. You know? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, one thing I want to talk about. All right, we should call it? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but it's fucking wild, man. We have some videos. Hopefully there will be some scattered in there as we talk about it. Just little clips, but 
It was wild, man. I it mean, was, it's, it was and that's just, interesting. And then I was thinking, I was like, bro, there's so many people on the planet where it's like, oh, well, actually, before this, we were talking about how, like, you know, ancient civilizations had to get by and, yeah. like, had to, like, bro, we've been around for millions, if not billions yeah. of years. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long humans have been around, but at least millions. I don't know if it's that long. I think it's, like, hundreds of thousands. Anyways, at least hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Okay. That's still a long time, True. right? A long time. Think about it. We've only been alive for 20, 30 years. You yeah. know, God, we only know, we only really talk about the last 200 years as well. Yeah. Think about hundreds of thousands. <laughs> like there's just so many ways that like humans have got by to like yeah. survive and have talents and not like no knowledge of certain things. Yeah. And it's so out of our scope now because we're obviously not taught it or we obviously lost it throughout the years where I'm like, bro, something like this isn't too far fetched. Yeah. Where it's like someone just remember or someone just knew and they kept it, Yeah, and, you know? And that was part of his, uh, his explanation about it was like, he was like, I think like the Egyptians and the Mayans and Aztecs, like I think a lot of the like older civilizations that existed before us, like I think they had skills like this, you know, because they were like very, in tune with the earth and you know weather and all this shit because like they don't have technology and phones and stuff to get them by you know like they had to figure this stuff out so Bro, i feel like you people back in the day could smell water like yeah they would Something. like then from afar yeah <laughs> think about it bro your whole life is just survival and you're just yeah. like you learn that like shit you literally quick. could tell by the mud like something is around this yeah. area you know i think so like yeah. it's just so easy to them at that point because that's their skill yeah you know and then yeah he drilled the well like on their property and then we were like drinking out of it he's like here it's like fresh ass water like drink out of it yeah. and we were drinking out of it and it was nice i was like was wow it's it pretty good. good yeah so it was pretty intense and then i was thinking there's so many people on this world where even if it was one in seven billion chance of someone like being able to like i don't know make their body cold or something like some yeah. crazy ass talent like yeah, yeah. it's possible bro. There's yeah a, there's seven billion of us like you know like yeah. how easy it is to have like such a weird abnormality when he said um okay and and he and this is more his a skill it's yeah even like a like a superpower yeah <laughs> like i think it's with like combination of kind of a gift but mostly tap like mostly skill and he's just taught like he explained it for like an hour like this is like an hour explanation that we just told you yeah. in a nutshell. So like it made more sense and like he was dead serious the whole time. And he's talking about how he has like different charges. Like one hand is like a positive charge yeah. and this side's like a negative charge because we could only hold it from one end for it to work. And it was just like, it was, it was interesting, you know? Um, I asked him cause I was like, when he brought up the gift part, he was like, or asked him, how did you like first realize you had this, you know? And he didn't really answer that, but <laughs> or he, he said he learned it from like some older Shut people up. he knew. <laughs> but he's like, you know, everybody has gifts and stuff. This is just mine. And I thought, what's my gift? Did you think that? Because I was like, what's my gift? You know? <laughs> it, made me feel, like, it made me feel kind of in- insignificant, you know? Because I'm like kind of mediocre at everything I do, you know? No. Uh, the first thing I thought was like skateboarding and just like my balance and stuff with things. Like... I feel like I can pick stuff up like that really fast. But I'm like, it's not, it's not as cool as fucking water bending. Yeah. You know? like, How can I ever I amount f- to that? We're not even like in a society, in an environment where we would where have we could a gift. Figure out a gift. Like, bro, you could climb a tree like a motherfucker. You know? Like, <laughs> you don't know <laughs> yeah. that. You'll never know. <laughs> we lost that. You yeah. Know? We lost but that. But we have other gifts that are like kind of cool. Can like, I do anything weird that nobody else can do? Can I get pussy even though you're kind of a drag dude? Yeah. I'm making a fucking arch the shit out of his back, like inwards, really crazy. Yeah. Should I see if I still got it? Yeah. Like we used to do these things called Supermans in uh, high school. Oh my God. Yeah. Be careful. It's actually not even that crazy now. That we but the way you can do it. Is this getting me? Yeah, it is. So we used to do Supermans like this and then you had to like arch your back and then i would just be able to get super high and probably even higher than this i, I remember think you th- can yeah i think it's because you're not on a hard surface but like your yeah. legs would come up too and then, I'd go here. and then they would i remember one time they <laughs> measured me in my class to see who could do it really? the, and i was dude i blew you're above everybody I blew else. fucking everyone out of the yeah. park and uh i don't think oh dude uh, wow i can't even do this anymore can you that's touch crazy. that to your head it used to be really holy shit that's i nuts. never could do that 
Wow. That's Holy shit. I think like if stretching. you worked on that, you could do it. You're cold right now. You could probably do that if you're warm. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's touching his head. Yeah. Holy shit. I still got it. Oh, I used to be able to put my legs behind my head. Yeah. Remember? Both. At the same you did time. that recently. I tried it with the Andre on the <sighs> pod, but something. I couldn't do it. And Brianna. But. Yeah. When they laughed at us. Yeah. I don't think I have anything crazy special, though. So, yeah, that was interesting, right. man. Yeah. I'd probably wrap, wrap it up. <laughs> So I'm mean, right. a little lower energy today, yeah, but just chill, you know. That's what the vibes were. So hey, fuck it. Cozy isn't always. Yeah. You know, it's like a fire. Can always be 100. percent Sometimes yeah. you burn yourself. Sometimes it keeps you warm. Yeah. Sometimes it's mellow. Sometimes it's burning down your house and you lost everything <laughs> and you have to do a GoFundMe after. <laughs> uh, sometimes you lock your kid inside the car and you go in the grocery store and you forget it's 95 degrees out. <laughs> you know. Jesus. And you come back and little Johnny ain't really you know whimpering anymore. <laughs> Dude, imagine what you leave your kid and you come back and you just like it's almost as, it's probably just as bad as hitting a kid with your car because you're texting yeah but that's your kid yeah that's pretty fucked and you left it it's pretty fucked i just hate anything lifeless is like it's such a wake anything, up call anything that could have been preventable like imagine killing somebody and it was preventable you know like, or getting killed like it was a mistake yeah, it like, wasn't just like oh, like nobody could have stopped. It's like a heat in the moment, dude. I this morning I was on Twitter, and oh my god, it was such a shit way to start your day. <laughs> you saw someone die, didn't you? Oh, I saw someone get murdered. God, so I it was hate a, that. It was a guy. I always got, hated that. He got rejected from a girl. Oh, of course, god. he was twenty. She was sixteen. Oh great. Anyways, the video. I don't know why I watched all two minutes or a minute of it, and it was like from like a CCTV <sighs> cam, but they were blurred, of course. Of course. And he was stabbing the shit out of her. He killed her? Yeah, he was stabbing her. And people were walking, like, by. Because, I mean, I one, slightly, I understand. Because if I saw someone getting stabbed, actually, I'd probably try to get in. But I, I, I could see where you'd be like, dude, like, I don't even know what I could do. Yeah. You know? But at the same time, like, heck, like, there was, like, eight people that ended up passing. And kind of consecutively, like, it wasn't like Didn't even it was anything. one person that was like, I don't, I can't do anything. It was like, if two or three of us get in there. We could do something, but God knows. I don't know. I'm not in that position. You know what I say about like people judging off like, oh, you could do that. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, he was stabbing her repeatedly really bad. Then he was like stomping her face and kicking the shit out of her. Then he grabbed like, would just grab this stone and just throw it on her. Grab it. Throw it on her. I don't know why I was watching. I don't know why I kept watching it. But I was getting so pissed, like so fear and like infuriated, you know. Right. It's just like sixteen, God. like it was so for nothing, like it's just so gruesome. I had to show you after. I've always hated videos like that. Like I remember in high school, like pe- that's when I was on Twitter more, and I feel like people would like like them or like retweet them. Like, why the fuck are you doing this? Yeah. Like, and I would I would always unfollow people if they did that. So really? Like, you're not. I, I don't it. think I've ever like, got to I the point where I liked that. it. Or I remember fo- I saw retweeted one. Them. I never really watch them. I saw one. A while ago. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy was like walking down like a, just a street, like in the middle of like a bigger city, you know? And there was a bus that was like parked on the curb, like picking people up, you know? And it had just started to like drive off. And this guy just runs up and he just lays down and puts his head under the wheel. And he just kills himself. <laughs> like... He just did like this little jog, this cute little jog, and he just <laughs> laid down. Just you think he's late for the bus, but he's late to heaven. No, he did on purpose, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, and you see the blood that's pretty disturbing. I think so. It was a while ago. <gasps> Don't you hate those CCTV? Is it CCTV? Right? Yeah, Cans? I don't know, but I get what you mean. It's where just they're like, like street corner like, cameras or whatever. It's like out of a gas station, and like someone's getting like there's shootouts, and you just see like actual blood, and the guy's just like. Like, dude, yeah, dead. I've seen one of dude getting shot in the head once, like by the gas station. It was like an altercation, I think, and then the guy was just like, "Well, I'm not gonna back down," because the guy pulled the gun out, and then the guy just stood there staring at him, and he shot him in the head, and he died. Dude, <laughs> like, is that crazy? Because like yeah. you think like, okay, well, at least if I'm gonna stand up for myself, like at least I'm not threatening, but I'm not backing down. Like you think you still like just you die. don't think you just die? Like yeah. imagine like no way their aim's that good to actually hit you in the head. You know, what you I was know? thinking too. I was like, bro, humans created guns. Yeah. Like, we created something that could kill us. Now I have become death. Yeah. Like Vishnu. I think that was it. How does it go? <laughs> it's it. And to impress her, he takes on his multi arm form and says, Now I become death. Fuck, what does the other part say? 
I don't know. Right. The Destroyer of Mankind? The Destroyer of Worlds. Let me read it and we'll end on that, huh? Yeah. All right. Thanks this for is, watching, guys. This is for anyone that wants to you know, spread hate. That This is what you're becoming. What is the quote called? It's uh, from Oppenheimer. Open. Oppenheimer quote after, you know, crazy Heimer nuke or something. quote. Just put quote. Nuclear yeah. bomb. Yeah. All right, guys. Real ready? quick, let's say let's say everything you're saying. All right. Be awesome. Thanks everyone for watching. I know <laughs> this is a little bit more mellow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you on a fucking dark note here. Yep. But thanks everyone for the subs. Thanks for everyone for the likes. Hopefully you guys go follow the Cozy Candid's uh, Instagram account we just created, which is kind of just for like our photos and videos, possibly that we take um, throughout our hike with this new camera that we purchased. Just kind of like a fun little thing that maybe not that consistent, but just kind of. Just so we're not cluttering our Cozy Show account so much. Um, so please go give that a follow. It's right here, Cozy Candidates. Uh, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? You have like, the quote. Every time I fucking Google something, it gives me like a fucking whole article. I'm like, I just want it the quote. It doesn't show like the top. I just want the whole quote. You just don't know how we'll to cut it. You boomer. <laughs> um. I'm not cutting shit. I'm editing, and it's at the end. You think I care about the people who are listening at this part? Okay, ready? You guys are OGs. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. You fucking missed the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. You find it. Okay. <sighs> That's something right, you fucking... We knew the world would not be the same. A few people laughed. A few people cried. <laughs> he does not sound like this. Most people were silent. I remember the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, Vishnu, is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him, takes on his multi form and says, now I become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all felt, we all thought that one way or another. J. Robert Oppenheimer, 1904 to 1967. Wow, he lived a short life, kind of. Kind of, 60s. 62. All right, guys. Because that last sentence tripped us both up. Yeah. Well, you said the same no, thing. No, I thought, that, yeah. Like, it was like feeling. Where suppose something. we all thought okay. something. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Peace. Peace. All right. Nice. Good uh. stuff. <laughs>